Hi, I'm Sarah Finlay. I'm the Strategic Advisor Youth at Auckland Council and I have the absolute privilege of supporting the Youth Advisory Panel who put on We Are Auckland 2014. What board are you from? I'm from High Vescus and Bays. Mangere. I'm from Mangri. Mangri. I'm from West Auckland. Be proud to be an individual. Transport your mind to new forms of communication. Don't let racism make a home in your head. Open your heart to a broader perception and create an attitude of acceptance. What do you hope to get out of today? Um, I really want to get connections with like, like-minded people. Um, hoping I'm going to get some cool ideas and meet some cool people. We can make Auckland a better place for our youth who are coming through, who are going to be the leaders. We want one word that describes Auckland youth. Amazing. Entrepreneurial. Inspiring. Epic. Future. Leaders. Promising. E for awesome. These are the Westies in their natural habitat. They're getting ready to play Tribal Wars. <laughs> to step up to the political awareness of our dreams to help work towards acceptance of humanity because I need a being yourself mentality. attitude to suicide, it's a health issue of belonging, because acceptance counteracts bullying and I support equality. So she's sitting in math looking at the equation in front of her, if I co-sign my loneliness with his tan I might be able to get X, being the question of her value divided by the negative relationship with her mum, multiplied by the emptiness of her self-worth, which she thinks she can find in the boy for math class. If I speak yes. like this, then you can't be heard. So I want you guys to take your ideas to the Youth Council, take your ideas to Auckland Council, and be heard. The change is simply the case of monkey see, monkey do. I'll take the first step forward with you. And when they ask us who we are, we'll march on, chanting, we are culture. <laughs> The moot is, you are being heard by politicians. You are being heard by politicians. This team is agreeing with that. This is the affirmative team saying, yes, you are being heard. This is the negative team. They're saying, no, nah, you are not being heard. So the I Am Auckland plan, the whole thing is about you. It's not about us, because the future is not about us. It's about you, you and your children. So that's what we're creating Auckland for, not for us. At the beginning, to decide whether or not you think you're being heard. If you think you're being heard at the moment, generally speaking, in politics by politicians, I want you to give your applause and your yell for each of these sides. If you think you're being heard, yes, shout it out. Woo! Yeah! Okay. If you think it's no, shout it out. Okay, so we win. And especially in local elections, only 40% of people voted. We've got um, the highest rate of alcohol and drug abuse in New Zealand is for 15 to 19 year olds. And to me that's symptomatic of the fact that we feel frustrated, we feel not heard, and we feel like there, there aren't programs in place for our young people. I'm glad I'm sitting on the positive side and not the negative side, because for me I'm all about sort of learnings of the past and moving forward. I think we've built a really good foundation for young people to be heard, like today, like the room you're sitting in. Um, we're building that right platform to actually move forward and get some things action. I agree with Michael Gowan, with what he was saying before. That doesn't mean I'm on that side, so don't even go there. This, as mentioned before, um, by my teammate, this was not organised by youth alone. This was in full support of councillors, politicians, and people around our community. You cannot say, you cannot deny that young people are not being heard and that they do not have a voice. And I just want to clarify the question, uh, the moot of today. It's whether we are being heard. Why is it a demographic, a statistic that drinks? 
instead of extending this unjust, uncalled for, unexplained inequality? Should we not offer hope by way of the law? And when the drinkers come home to take out their anger on children, partners, others who have no purpose, who go on to express their hurt, their longing, on the windows of buses, on cars, on trains, we need to offer these people opportunity. Opportunity! Not just a word, but a chance for a new beginning. Yeah, it's been really inspirational, just those guest speakers. They've really given me new ideas to help the community and help the next generation. Hot. Very Interesting. Much. Heaps fun. Yeah. Heaps fun. I just want to see... It's been a here. humbling experience. Yeah. It's been cool. So, uh, favourite speakers so far? I think The Roots. Uh, I just love how they turn rubbish into something that that will like you know just impact our youth and just make our community look a bit more interesting and more exciting to be part of. I'm here with Arizona. Hey Arizona. Hi. How was it speaking to a whole bunch of youth that really want to make a change in Auckland? Um, it was real cool. Uh, yeah, they're just such a driven crew and I'm excited to see what they do in the future. I'm one of the mana whenuas of representatives of Ngāti Power and yeah I'm just loving the vibe down here. Um, yeah, I'm a voice. Yeah, we're all voice. I am Auckland. I, I'm hoping that by the noise and the laughter and the, the crazy fun times that happened, that that means that it was successful and that people had fun um, and that they learned some amazing stuff, met some amazing people, got inspired, made new friends, and that all of that somehow leads to um, them going on and making a difference, which would for me, um, be the biggest idea of success. Give these guys a round of applause for all the hard work that they do.